you might even say persistent beyond belief driver uh, of this issue, it was Susan Collins. And once again, um, her service uh, shows that she's standing up for America's diplomats, the intel community serving in the country, serving our country around the world, who, as Senator Collins already indicated, have been involved in dangerous incidents resulting in brain trauma and other unexplained illnesses. We've called it the Havana Syndrome. The remarkable thing is that for nearly five years, we've been aware of these reports. And we've seen, as the Senator mentioned, attacks on U.S. personnel in Cuba, in China, around the world. Matter of fact, we hear these reports here in this country. And rather than disappearing or going down in number, they actually appear to be increasing. Five years after the start of this effort, we don't know what happened, we don't know who did it, and we don't know what kind of device was used. Mr. Pr Madam President, this is wrong. Particularly, I want to point out, and this is an area where we, we were, again, in bipartisan agreement. Under the last administration, we just didn't treat these victims from the intel community, State Department, DOD, with the seriousness they deserved. As chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, I know the hardships, sacrifices, and risks our intelligence officers, diplomats, and other personnel serving overseas endure, often anonymously, often without recognition. The fact that some of these brave women and men have been subjected to these serious health issues by unknown attackers is unacceptable. That their own government did not believe them when they were injured or denied them proper medical attention and care is beyond the pale. These are folks who are injured while serving our government, in some cases facing lifelong health consequences. There was all of that surface, and for a while they just got blown off. It's inexcusable that they were treated this way, and it's outrageous that we still don't know who did it or what tool was used in these attacks. Their country, after this service, needs to have their backs. And with Senator Collins' legislation, now this passed the Senate, and our hope soon to pass the House, we will show that the country will have their backs. I also want to give credit to the new CIA director, uh, Ambassador Burns for making this a top priority. On the Senate Intelligence Committee, there is complete bipartisan unanimity on this issue. We're going to ensure that the United States gets to the bottom of this, identifies those responsible for those attacks on American personnel, holds them accountable, and ensures that these attacks on American personnel stop once and for all. And let me echo what Senator Collins said. This should be one in an ever-growing list of topics that President Biden ought to raise with President Putin. We must protect our people around the globe. At the same time, it's more important than ever that the United States also provides those affected by these attacks with the medical and financial support they deserve. Again, that's why Senator Collins' legislation, the Havana Act, is so important. And let me echo again what Senator Collins said. My partner in this as well has been Vice Chairman Rubio and our good friend, Senator Shaheen. The fact that this passed this quickly, unanimously, uh, is extraordinarily important, but it is just the first step in having the backs of our diplomats, our intel personnel, our DOD, and for that matter, anyone who has been a victim of this kind of activity. Again, I want to thank Senator Collins for her leadership on this issue. I can assure you, as Senator Collins said, and Senator Rubio and I have repeated a number of times, the Intelligence Committee of the Senate is going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to make sure, and we've taken a giant step on this by passing this legislation, that the personnel will get the medical and, if necessary, financial assistance they need, that we're going to find out who did it, we're going to find out what type of device, and then we're going to hold them accountable. Madam President, with that, I yield the floor.